Let us compare the XR depiction of a bulk material with nano material. We also know that there is a relationship between the crystallite size and the peak broadening. Let me show you what this figure, very interesting figure. Uh, by bulk, I mean here that micrometer uh, size of particle. This is, for example, we have particles. Let we have powders, and that powder composed of particles. And the particle size is basically uh, n micron size, being one micron, two micron, right? So the XRD pattern looks like this. We have the short peaks. Basically, I just uh, uh, in, in, in increase the thickness for visibility. Otherwise, this is very short peak, right? So we have the short peak here, and these peaks looks like the crystalline material peaks. The crystalline material peak. But when we decrease the size of the material, you call it nanoparticle or crystallite size, whatever you call it. So you can see here the, pre, the peak is broadening here. The peak is broadening. And when we further decrease the size here, so the peak is further uh, broadening. This means that uh, this peak is basically uh, look like oh, amorphous. So now tells me there, there is a huge problem and uh, the, 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 the peaks looks like amorphous or uh, it looks like the impurity here. You can see here uh, the impurities. If there is impurities like the amorphous also a kind of impurities. So if there is impurities in a material, so the peaks will look like this or if it is an amorphous material, the peaks will also look like this. And if, if we have a very small size material and it is a crystalline, still the peaks look like this. So this means that XRD is basically not a sufficient uh, characterization uh, technique. Okay, let's explain this here. Is the size of the material decreases from bulk micrometer as we have shown to nano here, the peak start broadening is shown in the figure. This is very clear here, right? This XRD techniques become difficult to analyze the sample with crystallite size or particle size below five nanometer. If your particle size our crystallite size, our grain size is below 5 nanometer. XRD is basically uh, questionable. It gives you information, right? Uh, this is because the peak broadening and the low signal to a uh, nice uh, ratio, right? So th there is importance basically here. Look this importance. Uh, the broadening of peaks has a significant importance in nanometric transition. For example. If the TM shows the particle size 10 nanometer, if the TM shows the particle size or the grain size, uh, as I explained, it, there is a relation. Sometimes the particle is equal to a grain, the grain is equal to the crystallite size. If the TM shows the particle size 10 nanometer, but the XRD of the same sample shows sharp peaks. So this means that there is a discrepancy because the sharp peaks is for micrometer particle, for micrometer particles. This means that there is a problem. Here the TM shows that the particle or the crystallite size or the grain size is 10 nanometer and the XRD gives you sharp peak. This means that there are some big particles, some big particle as well. So this means that uh, you see here, it means that the majority of the particles in the sample are not in the 10 nanometer range, but rather, rather large in size. This is such a beautiful comparison here. You see here, this is a huge importance here. This is this is why we we need two uh, characterizations simultaneously uh, in order uh, to uh, uh, determine the uh, proper particle size or the crystalline size. This means that this Scherer equation is uh, not working here. For if you have a small uh, size material, you see here, this equation is not working well if the uh, size material material size of the particle size is less than 5 nanometer because you don't know uh, whether uh, the peaks is from amorphous material or from impurity or from other things this is quite difficult uh, to determine uh, the crystallite size from Scherer equation if your size is very very small this is why we have to believe here uh, in TE AMR high resolution transmission electron microscope or uh, scanning Tunneling, electron, transmission electron microscope, all these techniques we have to trust and believe.